Once upon a time there lived a poor brahmin He was a very lazy man and never liked to work The brahmin and his wife used to quarrel a lot One evening the brahmin decided to go to some other place and try his luck The next morning his wife made seven rotis for him she tied them in a piece of cloth and gave to the brahmin the brahmin took the rotis and left the house it was a long journey and in the afternoon the brahmin got very tired and he wanted some rest He sat under a tree. He was too hungry. So he untied the cloth and looking at the seven rotis he said, "Oh, I am so hungry that I can eat all the seven of them at once." Now, it so happened that seven fairies lived in the tree under which the brahmin had taken shelter. The fairies were frightened to hear the words of the brahmin. They thought that the brahmin wanted to eat them. They immediately came down and fell at his feet and said, "O oh, brahmin, please don't eat us. If you spare us, we will give you a magic goat." Whenever this goat opens its mouth to graze gold coins will drop out The brahmin realized that the fairies had misunderstood his words The clever brahmin promised the fairies that he would not eat them The fairies kept their word and gave him a magic goat The brahmin took the magic goat and left for his home. On his way back, the brahmin came to a village where his friend lived. He decided to put up at his friend's house for that night. The friend welcomed him warmly. The brahmin told him everything about the fairies and the magic goat. After dinner, the tired brahmin went to sleep. His friend came out of the house and went near the goat. He gave it some grass to eat. As soon as the goat opened its mouth to eat, gold coins dropped out. The greedy friend replaced the magic goat with an ordinary one. The next morning, the brahmin took the goat and went home. When he reached his house, he told his wife about the magic goat. She was thrilled. He brought some grass and put it before the goat. The goat opened its mouth to eat the grass. But alas, nothing happened. Not a single gold coin dropped from its mouth. The brahmin's wife was furious and said, "What a foolish man you are!" Those fairies have cheated you. The brahmin was very disappointed. The next morning, the brahmin went back to the forest and stood under the same tree. He said, "Oh fairies, you have cheated me. You have not kept your word. Now you will see my anger. Now I am going to eat 
all of you at once. The fairies got terrified and told him, O oh, Brahmin, we have not cheated you, but we do not know why the goat did not drop gold coins. However, we will give you a magic pan. This pan will prepare the dishes of your choice in minutes. You just have to call out the name of the dish. Look into the pan and the dish will be ready. The Brahmin took the pan and left for his house. Once again, he went to his friend to spend the night. The friend was curious to know all about the latest development. The Brahmin told him everything about the magic pan and went to sleep after dinner. Once again, the greedy friend replaced the magic pan with an ordinary one. Next morning, the Brahmin took the pan and returned home. His wife was happy to know all about the magic pan. But sad, just like the goat, the pan too didn't do any magic. This made his wife even more angry and she said, Once again those fairies have cheated you. Go back to them and punish. Don't spare them this time. The Brahmin went to the fairies and shouted, You fairies, you have cheated me again. Now I will not spare you. The fairies were really upset and said, O oh Brahmin, believe us, we have not cheated you. But we feel that somebody you met on your way home has cheated you. The Brahmin told the fairies about his friend. The fairies understood everything and said, Your friend is the culprit. He replaced our magic things with ordinary ones. But don't worry, this time we are giving you a magic rope and a magic stick. Take them and go to your friend's house. But remember, do not tell him anything. The Brahmin took them in his bag and went to his friend's house. This time, the Brahmin didn't say anything about the magic things. And after dinner, he was pretending to be asleep. His friend quietly came and opened the bag. But what a shock! The magic rope tied up the friend and the magic stick started hitting him hard. The friend screamed for help and requested the Brahmin to save his life. The Brahmin didn't say a word but enjoyed the scene. The magic stick beat his friend black and blue and finally he confessed that he had stolen the magic coat and the magic pan. He promised to return them. The Brahmin asked the stick to stop hitting and he ordered the rope to untie him. The friend returned the magic coat and the magic pan. The Brahmin went home with all the magic things. The magic coat and the magic pan made his life very easy and comfortable. The Brahmin and his wife lived happily ever after. They never had to use the magic rope and the magic stick again. The End